Hey everyone, this is Caroline Dunning, your pre-calc host for today. We're going to be talking about the law of cosines, the law of sines, and the ambiguous case. So the law of sines states that if ABC is a triangle with sides A, B, and C, then A over sine A equals B over sine B, which equals C over sine C. So say you are given the following triangle. And the value of angle A is 35 degrees, the value of angle B is 50 degrees, and the side A equals 12 feet. Finding angle C would be really simple. You would subtract angle A and angle B from 180 degrees to give you the value of C, which would be 180 degrees minus 35 degrees minus 50 degrees, which would equal 95 degrees. Next you would use, you guessed it, the law of sines. So just using the law of sines, you would plug in the values that you have, and you'd come up with 12 over sine of 35 degrees equals B over sine of 50 degrees, which equals C over sine of 95 degrees. To find side B, all you would need to use is 12 over sine of 35 degrees equals B over sine of 50 degrees, which is equivalent to 12 times the sine of 50 degrees over the sine of 35 degrees, which is 12 times 0 0.7660 over 0 0.5736, which is equal to 16.03 feet. So now you have your value of B. To find the value of C, you basically do the same thing. You use the law of sines and you use 12 over sine of 35 degrees equals C over the sine of 95 degrees. And to get C, you plug in your values. 12 times the sine of 95 degrees over the sine of 35 degrees, which is equal to 12 times 0 0.09962 over 0 0.5736, which is equal to 20.84 feet, which is your C value. So you should now have B equal to 16.03 feet, C is equal to 20.84 feet, and the value of the angle C is 95 degrees. Yay! Now we're going to move on to the law of cosines. Are you ready? So the law of cosines, as you see on your screen, has a standard form and an alternate form. The standard form is used to find the value of the sides, and the alternate form is used to find the value of the angles. And here's what would, you would do if you had three sides, otherwise known as the side, side, side theorem. Say you were given a triangle where the side A is eight, the side B is three, and the side C is nine. Now you have to find the values of angles A, B, and C. You would use the law of cosines in the alternate form to find these values. And we'll start with angle A. So to find angle A, the cosine of A equals B squared plus C squared minus A squared divided by 2 times B times C. So the cosine of A equals 3 squared plus 9 squared minus 8 squared divided by 2 times 3 times 9 since we plugged in the values for A, B, and C. And this comes out to approximately 0 0.4815. Since now you only have a decimal, to find the angle value, you're going to have to use cosine to the negative 1. When that's plugged in, A is approximately 61.2 degrees. To find the C value, the cosine of C equals A squared plus B squared minus C squared divided by 2 times A times B. Now you just plug in your values. So the cosine of C equals 8 squared plus 3 squared minus 9 squared divided by 2 times 8 times 3, which is approximately negative 0 0.1667. In cosine to the negative 1, you find that C is approximately 99.6 degrees. Sine B, you just subtract these two values of A and C from 180 degrees. So 180 degrees minus 61.2 degrees minus 99.6 degrees is approximately 19.2 degrees. Now we're going to move on to two sides and the included angle, or the side angle side theorem. Say triangle ABC has the sides A equals 11, B equals 5, and the angle C equals 20 degrees. So we're going to find side C using the standard form of the law of cosines. So C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2 times A times B times the cosine of C. So we're going to plug in our values and that equals 11 squared plus 5 squared minus 2 times 11 times 5 times the cosine of 20 degrees, which is equal to 42.6338.
So to find C, you have to find the square root of C, which is the square root of 42.6338, which is approximately 6.5. Now to find A using the standard form of the law of cosines, you're going to use A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 times B times C times the cosine of A. Plug in your values. 11 squared equals 5 squared plus 6.529 squared minus 2 times 5 times 6.529 times the cosine of A. Now the cosine of A equals 5 squared plus 6.529 squared minus 11 squared divided by 2 times 5 times 6.529. Last step to find A equals the cosine of negative 1 times 5 squared plus 6.529 squared minus 11 squared all divided by 2 times 5 times 6.529 which gives you approximately 144.8 degrees. Now all you need to do to find angle B is to subtract your other angles. 180 degrees minus 144.8 degrees minus 20 degrees equals 15.2 degrees. I know you're probably getting a little bit sick of pre-calc by now, but that's okay because we only have one more thing to cover. The ambiguous case. Yay! It's the ambiguous case with an acute angle given. No such triangle exists. One such triangle exists or two distinct triangles satisfy the conditions. Basically, you're given two sides and an angle that's not included. So all you really need to find is the angle and its included side. So say you're given A, B, and angle A. So you're really just gonna be solving for angle B. In our first case, A is too short to form a triangle, so you'll have no triangle. A is exactly perpendicular to H, so you have one triangle. In this case, A is too long to form more than one triangle, so you only have one triangle. In our last case, side A is longer than the perpendicular, and it can swing along the base of the triangle to form two separate triangles. Now we're going to get into the ambiguous case with side-side angle. If the angle is greater than 90 degrees, or it's obtuse, then you only have two possibilities. No triangle exists, or one triangle exists. If A is less than or equal to B, then no triangle exists. If A is greater than B, then one triangle exists. Well, we've covered all we needed to cover for today, so this has been Pre-Calc with Caroline Dunning. This is your host, Caroline Dunning, signing out.